How's it going guys? Welcome back to Skellboy. We had just made it a little ways into the swamp, really not far at all. Things were getting a little dicey, there's a lot of shrooms around, it was not worth running for that apparently. <laughs> I, I just found a save point and kind of settled settled down because things were, were getting a little out of control. Actually, I kind of had said in the last episode, like, ooh, I hope it's a, a mushroom swamp, because then I can try and acquire uh, the other types of mushroom items that I didn't have yet. I take that back. That wish has led to some very dangerous situations overall, and I uh, don't know if I'm a big fan of the mushrooms anymore. I, I think they're funny, they're cute, silly, wacky critters and all that, but... They also have been ruining me just thoroughly. Okay, they, they keep respawning. I'm gonna give him a little slowdown, mushroom, jump, and I, I'm just bailing. This, I'm just generally gonna bail on the things in the swamp here. Uh, uh, it's too much, too ridiculous of a wall of mushrooms, and also they're slowing me down as I'm trying to slow them down. So that's just not good for me. Okay, that was some cool... Uh, the movement and progression and swiveling of the camera and everything. Uh, I'll potentially stop being so damn complimentary of it soon, but so far, I think it's awesome. Oh, come on, did that not poke it precisely? Oh no, it kind of did. Uh, but now what? Did I trigger a boss? Oh my goodness, okay. It has something on its back. Oh, it's kind of like um, an angler fish. Where it like, oh god, okay, it's spawning a lot of uh, shrooms and stuff. Where it was like baiting me with like a thing that kind of looks like a princess. I'm assuming I have to jump on its back. I just don't really know how to get to that. Oh, oh, he was, he was, he was waiting. He was all ready for it. Dang. All right, this could be tricky. Cause I, oh, and he's breaking things. That makes it a lot harder. All right, he's squatting. I, I really, I really gotta follow this guy. His, those mushrooms that he laid don't really seem to do anything. Alright, I'm riding him. He just booted me right off. Is that how that was supposed to go? Oh. I didn't mean to make you so upset. Oh god. Okay, I don't have control. I don't have control right now. <laughs> that, I, <laughs> I didn't expect it to just end so suddenly, but I think that's like a really funny subversion I guess that like you're like okay I see exactly what needs to happen I gotta hop around on these pillars I'm gonna jump on top of this guy's back I get like the three hits on his and his, his eyes maybe he'll go into like a, a more difficult second mode where I gotta get three more nah first time first time you jump on him he wigs out he wigs out a wig hopefully but yeah he wigged out like nuts I'm I'm slowly just becoming the princess and I don't really know what to think of that or what it what it does. <laughs> like, what am I building towards? Uh, I guess I, to sneak into the castle? It adds more luck, which maybe means more health drops. The princess of the kingdom had beautiful hair. So beautiful that everyone believes having just one strand will bring good luck. But it probably won't. <laughs> it's a bit of a bit of an exaggerated superstition, don't you think? That was, that was kind of great. That seemed like it was going to be really tricky. I prefer the outcome we got. Huh. I guess I'm not meant to go that way. I guess acquiring the wig was the only thing that I was concerned with. Oh, hey. What's up, dude? You here to rescue the princess? By the mighty cube in the sky. What are you doing here, princess? The mighty cube in the sky. I almost just completely thought through like whatever weird world building that is that they they either worship the sun and the sun is square, or there's some sort of cube god that they're all worshiping. Better make haste and return to the safe room by the theater. Walk through the swamp to the forest, and before you enter the labyrinth, you should stumble upon a door that leads you right there. Hurry now. Well, thank you for <laughs> stupid chatting icon. <laughs> thank you for the reminder. I fought my way here. I think I know precisely how to find my way back out again. I'm not as helpless as you think. Although it does seem like that guy 
presumably him, cleared out all of the mushrooms that were causing me a lot of trouble, so I gotta give the guy some credit. I certainly wasn't able to do as such. It's interesting that it's like a flat character like this, but that it still has like fully animated walk cycles and, and things like that, even for these different components that you're wearing and picking up and acquiring along the way. It's neat. It's a, it's a, it's a fun style. Honestly, I think I'm not going the fastest way. I kind of just chose to go back a little bit. I, I want to check on, on the arena. Nothing there. Gotta go back around. I'm guessing these just have health as well. That was something I had missed before. It's just health. I am noticing the slight stutters uh, now and again. That I, I was looking at the wrong place, but that might have been one just there. I don't think anyone should hold that against the game. I think that is probably an artifact of the fact... <laughs> artifact of the fact that the console has to be hooked into an additional piece of hardware and then hooked into the computer. So there's like these extra levels of separation and obfuscation that I think would be causing that. That is the game itself runs like perfectly smoothly. You get lost cr Oh wait! It's the princess! Open up the gates! Calling the the princess a cretin or a creature. There's not many other cri things that it could have been that could have been complimentary instead. It seemed like it was only bad. You guys are uh, jerks. Very judgmental. This crisis will be over soon. The four squires are already on their way. Welcome. This is the official Cubold safe room. Equipped for crises of all the, all the sorts. Every which sort you've ever heard of. There's like a pirate kind of guy. Oh, the narrator. Princess Aletta, welcome to the safe room. Is anyone going to see through this disguise? I'm so happy you found your way here. I'd feared you got punched into pixels by some undead... Yikes. Feels like weighted dice falling from my heart, knowing that you are safe now. Oh, my phone froze. <laughs> totally unrelated. Just a weird thing. Oh, there's like a goblin with like a pot on his head. I want to go meet him. From the moment disaster shook our peaceful kingdom, Cubold started seeking shelter. Luckily, this place is pretty safe and has enough space for now. That's what they thought at Helm's Deep as well, and look how that went. Kind of successful, I guess? <laughs> Talking about dice, the grand dice, jeez. I haven't seen one pixel of him since everything fell apart. My hope is that he has safely made it from the throne room to the barracks. Because it's too dangerous to walk outside, I sent some soldiers down to investigate the dungeons through the hole over there. The barracks is not far from there, but not one of them has come back yet. And also, no sign of our brave four squires. Oh no. But what am I talking about? That's nothing your square head should worry about. Everything will be fine. To stay here, going into the dungeon by yourself is not necessary. I repeat, no need to jump down. So I'm probably just going to jump down, right? Instantaneously, as soon as possible. I'll say here, protecting the weak in an honorable is an honorable task in itself. But still, I'd like to help outside. Well, I'm the princess. If you want to, I'm sure I could grant that uh, ability. I just want that guy to face the other way so I can see. Leah, Le Leia, what's up? <laughs> just uh, random generic characters. I like this pirate guy. Whoever this is in like a bowler hat or whatever that that thing is called. This guy just getting wasted in the corner. I knocked over his, his flat beer. Gird the guard. Oof. I was stationed down at the dungeon near the old torture chamber when suddenly Medusa heads. They ate my glowing pumpkin fresh from the farm and everything went spooky dark. So dark I hit my head on the wall. Double oof. It's a wonder I'm still quadrangular. You can't go in or out without a light with all the traps down there. I'm here to make sure that people don't jump down there. Are you listening to me? Don't jump. Well, as we established in the previous episode, I like to ignore when people give me instructions and do the exact opposite. I'll stay here. You're, you're sticking with that, huh? Well, I'm just going to hop right over. You're, ter you're terrible at guarding it. Well, I guess they also think I'm the princess who can go anywhere I want. The smart gold bold. Yarnina made me a scarf. It's so fluffy and warm. 
I could have a snooze right now. Small, rowdy bold. My sister was on the way to the beach when things went dangerously edgy. Locked from the other side. Well, I'm the princess, dammit, and how are you not lighting a giant fire in this place right now? That is an absolute insane risk, and uh, I don't know what just happened. <laughs> There's some weird glitch that happens and you stand on top of this that causes your body parts to separate. Is it like the rising heat currents? I assume that level of physics is not programmed into this. Oh, I can't jump while I'm on top of this. I was going to see if I could actually like break the game a little bit and use that to jump over. Not the case, unfortunately. Instead, I'm just going to send a bunch of poisonous spore clouds all over all these characters as I attempt to make my way around. <laughs> I just thought it would be funny to 100% knock that over. Ah, oh, weird. I can't even I can't even jump on top of these ones. I don't really know precisely how that happened in the other one. I'm just looking for other NPCs. Ignore me. Specifically this guy. We're gonna be best friends. Questifer! The giver of quests. Questifer. Oh, I love it. On guard, I declare you my rival! Oh, I declare you my best friend, Questifer. Is what I want to say. But I'm not a popular adventurer yet. Stick with me, kid. I'll get you to the top. Don't tell anyone. This isn't even a real helmet. Well, I'm not wearing real hair. We think. <laughs> You're Nina. It's the one Gold Bold was complaining about, or about the scarf. Oh dear, what do you have in your hands? Is that an ectoplasmic rag? My grandma had quite a few ghost friends. After their nightly card games, they often left stuff like that and she turned them into fascinating things. May I try out something? How do ghost friends work? Are they like ghost-like people that you can just interact with, people aren't like scared of it, or did she like specifically have an insight into the afterlife like, I don't know, I'm a skeleton thing, and people are all scared of me. How do ghosts work? That people are just chilling, playing cards with them, and that they, like, leave behind gifts. Uh, am I giving her the shield? I don't really give a shit about that. You can take it. Seemed like a silly, dumb thing to me. Oh, yeah, she's totally, like, knitting it into something cool for me. What'd you make? A, did you make a human body? My silly old sweater. Knitted with love. <laughs> Wait, is that just layering on top of... Okay, the princess's dress is still just there. Oh, I think I'm missing my hay... Hay thing now. It's just gone? Whatever, we'll see what's up with this. Plus one to health, still. But... I Did I not lose the health of having the hay bale? I don't know. Seems like I like only benefit, benefited from that. Made with yarn woven out of 100% natural mushroom roots. Just how a loving parent would do it. I'm very, it's very unclear if it's like the hay bale and that got combined? I'll take it. It's cool. I like, I like that uh, there's like specific interactions like that that'll take place based on uh, carrying certain items and stuff. It makes me feel like there's lots of uh, cool exploring to do and like replay value to Come hunting for, for cool new combinations and stuff, so thank you. Thank you for that. Oh, there it is. It was totally hidden behind the pillar, and I read an excessive amount of nonsense into it that wasn't a part of it at all. What's up, dude? The Jester. I snuck in after they already closed the doors. Not really scared of the monsters or anything. I just like being near the Grand Ice. I'm not a weirdo, right? Maybe a little bit, hiding up in the rafters, sneaking around, all that stuff. It's some, it is weird. There's some weird bits to it. Not 100% weird, but I'm not going to pretend it isn't that. Oh, I thought maybe I could jump, get an extra, extra high jump into the hole there. That seemed like it would be quite fun for me. Alright, chatted with everyone, made, made my rounds. Everyone it, showered me with their love. And way down we go. <laughs> okay, the the wig and, and the dress just fell right off. Don't get to pick them back up again. It's weird. It's weird that I'm Skull Boy, Skell, Skell Boy, 
Oh, look at all those stabbed skeletons, actually. Those are regular, though. Non-living skeletons. Ooh, chain physics. But now, all of a sudden, between, like, the helmet and my, like, weirdly buff-looking chest sweater thing, just seems like I'm a regular dude. I, uh, no wonder no one thinks I'm a, I'm a skeleton anymore. I love the face that this bat makes when it takes damage. <laughs> Spectacular. Good, good stuff. I, I guess I can try and actually open this, but I'm, I'm, I would rather look around a bit more first. I kind of figured. It's, uh, didn't really have anything indicating that was the way to go or that any, I would be able to unlock it for any particular reason. Oh, good. You can just chop it. Hey, an excuse to take back a few uh, skull, skeleton based items if I want. Are they the same or different? Usual backbone, same thing we've seen before, and the bony feet, same thing. In case I just feel like becoming more skeletular again. Which I don't really. Don't really, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> now, do I need a key for that? I kind of thought I would just be able to bust it open. Like slot, slot that pencil right into the keyhole or something. Well, I won't rule it out. I uh, know approximately where to come back to, maybe, potentially. Dang. Who dat? Who do this? Oh, it's like an evil s skeleton with a cool bandana. Can't be all, all evil. You can't be that stylish and entirely evil, you know. I like he's got he's got a good style going on. I dig I dig what he's got. Wow, damn. Uh, no thanks. I feel like I kind of have to. Oh, I tried to use my I tried to use my deflecting helmet. Nope, you still get you still take damage. Hmm, when I'm near, then he kind of stops wanting to do it <sighs> all right I need to do I need to do a quick backtrack I don't need to this is like a choice I'm making uh, but I feel like I'm moving on from this that starting area before exploring one particular Avenue I I was expecting this to come to a dead end it didn't better go check the other one back by this first locked door oh what do you know well, I, I can see there's like traps and things going on over there, so I thought I'd be able to walk up around that. Who would have known that it was so... It would have been so simple to learn. There's a wall there. You're not going that way. Alright, back I go to where I was a second ago. Currently, this is uh, the only way I can go. Oh, huh, well, I thought I would have to fight him. Maybe not quite as a boss, maybe like a mini-boss. Turns out you just walk at him till he gets a little shy, and then stares. Oh, Medusas! Medusa heads! I wonder if I can get body parts. Like, I can probably get a head from the Medusa, but I wonder if I can get, um, uh, like a literal body, body part. Or, oh man, okay. Okay, good. The controls of this are precise enough that that was, like, not a struggle in the way that I thought it was going to be. That went very well. Anyways, feet? Probably not. Probably not gonna happen. Well, this seems notably more difficult. If not more epic and cool. That was fun. I like <laughs> I like adventuring my way through these obstacles and things. There's a pumpkin. The belly pumpkin. For more body protection. Oh, is that like the dress though? It's like extra? Oh, yeah, I get a couple of protective things. Oh, but it might break. Because uh, they're, like, kind of blackened out a little bit there. Uh, and nothing is indicating... I don't... Like, I don't know how you would recover that specifically. So I wouldn't be surprised if the belly pumpkin can break. Lowering one of the two. Weird to have one switch to raise both. Two switches to lower them. You're, you're really complicating your system there. Uh, uh, I kind of wanted to just commit, not attempt to worry about timing or anything, and just like barrel through, full confidence, like that. Oh, the Medusa's safe from it. Thought it'd be fun if I could lure it into getting chopped up real good. 
uh, now we're seeing both the Medusas and the pumpkins that those guys were talking about. Yeah, the, the pumpkin's dead. Lost it. Gone. I got kind of stun locked there for a minute and it, it couldn't, couldn't do anything. That was a mistake. <sighs> Dang. Well, there's so many pots around. Dying has only really been like a real risk once. And I was being pretty careless. But maybe I'm just that good at things. Do you see that tactical pillar hopping? That's that's how you stay alive. <laughs> the faces these bats make are are everything. They I I'm I'm all about it. Oh now I have to do it. Alright, so maybe I wasn't that clever. The game was maybe kind of leading me towards that being what needed to be done. Okay, well, yeah, you gotta get a quick move on there. There's a, another one of those fire watch tower guys. You know, from the famous video game, Watch Fire, the tower story. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> I tried to go around to the right, wasn't an option, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden I was just stuck. Alright, I gotta, I gotta move, I gotta attack. Hey, he's wearing a skull head? Come on, man. I don't wear your head. The option was there, and I didn't do it. So I think it's pretty uncool when you show up and decide that, yeah, it's fine if I if I wear a skull head, even if I'm not a skeleton myself. I only wear the heads of people I killed who were once humans and like mushroom slippers, but they don't even have brains, so they don't even count. My body was knit for me. I'm not causing anyone any harm. Anyone. No one, no one has, not a single person or character has suffered for, for my current outfit. I don't know if I can jump that. It's kind of seemed like maybe not. I was going to try and run past and jump if that didn't work. Chop, chop, swipe. Oh god, okay, explosive, explosive. That was the wrong thing to do. Whoops. <laughs> charge your club up, crude club, charge for maximum destruction. Clubs are known for their charge-up attacks, with which you can do additional damage, but are also used to destroy various obstacles. <laughs> I want to say objects so badly. Swing, just just great for bashing. Oh, dang. Alright, charge it up though. There, that's how we break open a chest. Great. Now, there's just all the different parts of the map where uh, there wasn't a chest previously. A cardboard sword. I already have one. Really uninteresting chest overall. I don't really want to backtrack to the other chests. I I don't think I will. They were pretty far away. Because of highly recurring accidents with clubs, they are now forbidden on the castle grounds. Please don't use weapons to clear or put away tables. Thanks. <laughs> That is absolutely what I'm doing. There was a temptation to do it already. Thought maybe it wouldn't be worth my time. Now it's got me thinking this is a, a great exercise. Just just to just to I'm just working out some anger issues while also helping to tidy things up a little bit. And if a useful item or two drops along the way, maybe a nice roast square turkey. Oh, there's got to be a way. There's got to be a way to like make square box turkey chicken duck. Can't think of the pun. I'm also now that I'm smashing all these tables out of the way. Oh, I want to. I want to use a big wind up move on an enemy. That's very satisfying. I like. I like that a lot. I'm also thinking the club is probably how you gain access to the arena. I'm thinking I'm ready for the arena. <laughs> If this is the the hardest that anyone's gonna throw at me, yeah, I, I I'd say I'm I'd say I'm thoroughly prepared for it. Been training my whole life, but especially I've been training the last like three minutes. And that was when I really turned things around. I learned oh hey, <laughs> I learned like uh, ninety six percent of everything I know about clubs in those last three minutes. They were really crucial to the overall learning. Oh god, okay, I wasn't expecting that thing to still be able to shoot once I knocked it over. I I really did enjoy knocking them over though, that was incredibly satisfying. I'm very glad that that was an option that was uh, made available to me. Now I now I got a, an itch though, a craving for more. I want to push more things off of big high heights. 
keep out closed for renovation and warning pumpkin light required how is that different from just uh is this th this is based on the camera not moving i have to assume this is a different area but it really really a lot looks like the same it's still tables covered in food and things like that okay good good it is different i would have been surprised if we made it back around can I wear two pumpkins at once? Ah, no, they don't stack. That's good to know. I feel like that was a worthy question. I think I better backtrack. Oh, no, this might not be the door that I think it is. <laughs> I might as well open it now. I don't know if that was the first non-accessible door from the beginning of all this. I don't think it quite is. You can read the sign on the ground? The broken sign reads torture chamber. Alright, explain to me again pumpkin light. Is that the, the guy was telling me he lost his pumpkin light. I kind of thought he meant just like pumpkin. Okay, no, I'm out of here. That was spookier than I thought it would be. Is a pumpkin light just like a jack-o-lantern? <laughs> I have to assume that it is, and I like that for whatever reason they don't call it that. Maybe they don't, maybe jack-o'-lanterns are only when you make a face. Maybe they just carved a little circle out of it so that you could uh, just like have, have your light shine through. Just a couple enemies down here. If, if, if I had ever fallen, which I did not, I just wanted to see if there was anything cool, treasure chest, anything like that mostly. There was this chest back over here, though. So that makes sense that the game introduced, like, a treasure chest or two to me at, at a time when I wouldn't have had the club because it makes you go back that way eventually, and then and you will have the club. So I think that's it's organized well in that way. The soldier's boots and the katana, quick attacks with long reach. The katana, by the way. <laughs> Made out of a light but stable material, the katana is perfect for landing three hit combos in rapid succession. Cuts enemies like paper, and paper like enemies. <laughs> and the boots. Right, I don't care about those boots whatsoever. Give me back my shroom shoes again. Slippers. It's a better name. It is a better name. I'll, I'll give it the credit there. Ha 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 ha. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm just practicing. Trying to get, trying to get the hang of landing them sick combos in. Get over here, bat. I'm gonna bat you in the butt. That's that's how I'll know the true capabilities of this mighty weapon. Oh, I may have just triggered an event. And I was, I looked like there was another room I could have went and investigated. Evil scale boy. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. I thought he, I thought he shrunk his way down into the pit or whatever. Do I just bail? No, I think I am supposed to fight this guy. I just don't really know how. Oh my god, lasers. There's so many lasers and things everywhere. He's so proud of himself. Jeez, man. This is complicated. Alright, alright. The only thing I can think of is clubbing him. <laughs> that worked. Okay, I think I basically have to... Whoa, okay, bouncy, bouncy daggers. Basically have to wait till he does one of those tired things. <laughs> After after the last boss battle, which didn't really go anywhere, dealing with a real boss is a little bit a little bit challenging. I feel like he's baiting me into bashing this thing, and so I'm gonna stand on it and we're both gonna end up falling through it, you know? That's kinda how I think this is gonna pan out. Oh god. <laughs> it's going all over the place. Just get right up in his grill though. Don't give him any space whatsoever. You're just leaving your knives all around like that? It's sloppy, man. It's messy stuff. Gotta be tidier than that. Any good villain knows to clean up their knives. Trace that shit back to you if you don't. He seems awfully proud of himself for getting spanked around super hard. Oh, but cursed bone legs. Leaves behind nothing but scorched earth. Whoa. How often does it do that? Hmm. A mysterious evil skelly cube lost him after an action-packed battle. Wearing them feels like walking on hot coals, and their footprints burn like fire. Ouch! 
I still kind of like these. The, the like, cloud area of effect thing that takes place there, it seems like it affects more enemies overall, and slowing things down seems probably more useful than just doing, like, a bit of damage. Ah. Uh, well, I could have saved and had extra defenses. That was the room that I was saying. I felt like I kind of ran straight past. Whoops. Whoopsies. <laughs> but actually, having a save point there after the battle is, is really nice. So you comfortably know that that's all behind you if, if anything were to happen. Cool. That's also like an excellent place in terms of video length and events unfolding within video to, to put a hold on things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again with more Scale Boy soon.